Well, good bloody morning on the road again, me and Pip. We're heading out. We're going out for about two weeks. Just sort of stopped at the first place that I marked as a camp. Um, can't remember what it's called. Moran Pin. M O O R A N O P I N. Nature Reserve. I'm not quite sure what this is about. I couldn't really find much on the internet about it. Big structure here. And there's some um, abandoned or disused showers and toilets over there. Bit of effort went into all of that. <clears throat> um, not a bad spot on the Great Eastern Highway, but I don't know, it's not talking to me. You could reverse under there if you wanted to. A couple of fireplaces already built. I think I'll head up, I'll keep going. Uh, I head to Bandy Lake, I think. Uh, see what I can find there. I'm all loaded up. Lots of food. I'm hoping I can handle my own self for the next two weeks, but we'll just see how that plays out. Maybe Pippi will come and eat me or something. What are you doing, gal? Get a glass around too. Oh, the wildflowers are out too. Good time. Alright. Uh, so I guess I'll see you at Lake Bandy. I actually called it Lake Ballard, but I'm a bit far off from that. Oh. Bandy Lake. Well, I kind of knew it was going to be like this. I was actually expecting a little bit more water in there, considering how much rain we've had. I was going to camp here, but um, I've been here a few times and I know what it's like when the wind gets up. Um, and the wind's cold. I've got shorts on. Um, so I might, might keep going. Uh, that's two of my camps down already. <laughs> I'll be home in a week. <coughs> but this is a good spot. When the wind's not blowing its bum off. It's got um, cold showers and, and dunny, flushing dunnies. Plenty of room here. Plenty of room for everyone. Um, and yeah. But it's not for me. Not today anyway. I might stay here on the way home. I actually intended to stay here on the way home. Um, I might go right. If I do, I'll go right down the end. Follow that shoreline. Um, there's a few little sort of secluded spots down there, which hopefully will be out of the wind if it's still kicking. So, yeah. Come on, Pip. Hey, let's go back in the car. Let's go plan C. Alright, oh, one other person camper here. Being Saturday, I thought there would have been more. Oh, see you at the next camp. I can't remember the last time I had one of these. Oh, a bit more. I'll just make a drink and then I'll show you around camp. Radio. Oh geez, I tell you what, the Sultan is back, eh? Oh, good bloody Midori afternoon. So this is Dan Darrigan. No, what was it? Dan Baron. Dan Baron Hill. I'll tell you about that in a sec. 
So a little camp spot, couple of tables, fireplaces, um, I don't know, four fans maybe if you don't want to be too squishy. There are more campgrounds around. Oh, there's a loo over there. I'll show you that in a sec. Um, so basically this land here was opened up for um, stock. And then eventually a whole heap of dudes come along and they cleared the land by hand in order for the land to be fully cleared, ready for cropping, men laboured with hand axes and horse-drawn metal rollers to fell the timber which was then burnt. Bugger that. But good on them. So this area here is surrounded by farmland now. There's all wheat and canola and all that. Um, these are, oh God, flies. Let's drink. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, <laughs> Sultanas, man. Hey, Pip, where you going? Up this way, mate. Pippi. Oh, I don't know if it's the sugar in, in the drink or... <clears throat> I've only seen... Well, actually, I didn't see it. I heard uh, <laughs> another car. <clears throat> so maybe they went up on top of the hill. I don't know. But there is more camping over there. You can follow the rock around and obviously just pick a little spot. Dunnies are pretty important to people sometimes. <sighs> Those are just drop, long drops, but clean, clean as. So good for families, good for kids. Plenty of room to kick a footy, ride a bike, all the above. Dog friendly. And best of all, it's free. <sighs> <sighs> The flies are free too. Bloody sultanas. I've got to put my drink down. I can't handle this. Oh. <coughs> anyway. Uh... <coughs> oh, I don't know what that was. Um, <coughs> I got uh, scotch fillet tonight. And I'll just do some prawns and some um, garlic sauce or something. I've, I've frozen it. So I'm trying to defrost it. Fridges are working well. The bottom one is um, is my freezer. So basically, well, I wouldn't. In an ideal world, your meat's supposed to be frozen, or your food's supposed to be frozen about 18 degrees. Um, I have seen this go negative 13. That was this morning when I first got up. I've even got a photo of that. But um, she's chockers, and uh, Jinky's in there. And then I've got the other fridge full of all my consumables, veggies and stuff like that. So, yeah, just basic one tonight. Potato gratins. Oh, I've got to get them out. Um, I might even do some broccolini. Just have a, a small, easy dinner for tonight. I might have to get the air guard out. Here's something I prepared earlier. Oh, I'll catch you later on.
Get out. Good bloody goon afternoon. I'm still the only ones here. We had one um, couple rock in in a van. <clears throat> so I've got the joint to myself, so pretty cool. Uh, having a few sherbets. I'm just getting dinner ready. Tonight's going to be easy because I'm knackered and can't be asked, to be honest. So I've got scotch fillet and um, I'll just do some broccolini, some potato gratins and I'll throw some prawn and uh, I'll do a prawn and onion mix, for maybe a garlic mix or something to go on top of the steaks. Um, and I'll just keep a little bit on the side for Pip so she can eat some steak. What do you reckon, Pip? Sultanas have been a bit friendly today, eh? Yeah. I know it's a change of season and everything else, and I guess uh, I'll spoil it with a few camps that I had with no flies, but they're bloody here. And it makes me wonder because, like, this is all agricultural, so, like, it's all um, cropping and um, growing, basically. So there's no cattle, there's no stock, there's nothing to sort of encourage the flies. So I wonder why they're all here. I'm sure they serve a purpose. All right. Give you an update when dinner's gone and uh, I guess I'll show you when it's plated up. All good. Don't you just love a good sizzle? Beautiful steaks. Salt, pepper, a bit of oil. I'll actually throw a little bit of chilli um, oil infused in there. It's going to be good. Oh, I nearly forgot to um, show you. <clears throat> so, what do we got? Scotch fillet, prawns with onion with a bit of chilli sauce, or chilli onion, blah blah blah. Uh, broccolini and um, some potato gratins. And you finish yours. Do you want some more? <clears throat> Good gal. Oh, you're hungry today. That's what happens when you chase uh, butterflies all day. Alright. I'm going to eat this before it goes cold and the flies finish it off. Good bloody coffee morning. Had a reasonably good sleep last night. I woke up a few times. Um, I was a bit warm under the doona. But yeah, just getting some brekkie on. I'm just going to have one bacon egg McAndy and um, I'll give the rest of the bacon to Pip. I'm uh, going to move on today. The wind's kicking up again like within the last half hour. The wind's has come from nowhere. Drops as I say it. All the pink, pink and greys are cruising around. A few other birds. Haven't seen anything else. I would have thought I'd see some rabbits or something. There's no evidence of that. Or ruse. I was going to fly the drone up to see the peak there because I'm too lazy to go walk. But I don't know. If I can be bothered. Um... Yeah, enjoy me camp. It's good to have the loo there. <laughs> um, yeah, show you when me brekkie's done. And then I guess I'll start packing up and um, head to my next camp. What do you reckon, Pip? You're looking a bit cold there, mate. You're shaking. Hey? Mmm. All right. So there we go, there's a little bit of bacon for Pip and my bacon and egg McAndy with cheese and my coffee. That's it, I'm pretty much gonna pack up. Um, time's getting away from me, I didn't realize how late it's getting. Yeah, awesome camp. Uh, pity I'm too lazy to go up there. <laughs> Great camp. It's worth coming out. What is it? I don't know, just under two hours from Perth. What do you reckon, Pip? It's pretty good, eh? Yeah. All right. If you're watching this far, cheers for that. See you on the next one.